What is up everybody, welcome into this new video of TechPress. In this tutorial, let's take a look into how to get like the best portfolio using Behance. Now, a portfolio is a tool, is a document, is something that can be helping you to gain a few uh, credits to receive a few works as a freelancer or whatever you are uh, looking for. Uh, here into Behance, we can create an actual portfolio, solid and amazing. So in order to have to get the best tool, the best portfolio using Behance, what I can strongly suggest to you is to go directly into the full U version of Behance. And once we are in here, I want to look out for some inspiration. I want to look out for some people who create some uh, portfolios. So. If I am into the graphic design world, I'm going to hit into graphic design. I click here and I go with view the custom field. So the, in this part, what I wanted to do is to check it out the works that people has uploaded in here into the Behance uh, application. So as you can see, this guy upload these flyers. This guy upload this. Um, I'm not pretty sure what those that is. I'm pretty sure this is like some kind of like. A flyer for a festival whatever so first of all um, before I continue I wanted to go here into logged in so whether you wanted to choose an Adobe account using your uh, Apple ID or your Google account or your Facebook ID in my case I'm gonna be using my Google account because I have everything now added here into my actual application into my email so later on once I signed it in what I wanted to do now is to go back again into the dashboard and check it out a few inspirational uh, quotes and boosters of people who actually did something that I wanted to do like them so uh, let's say for example that I wanted to look out for people who create uh, this kind of elements of graphic designer so if I go and choose this guy it says Adriano Campo I click this guy I don't want to focus into the followers whatever just focus into the portfolio that this guy created. So this guy has work, this guy has mood boards, this guy has appreciations, and I believe that's it. So uh, as you can see, you have I'm gonna be focusing into work, and this guy only has two elements that a lot of people were uh, saw here. So this guy has a portfolio of a graphic designer. Uh, check it out how does this actual PDF file looks. So you need to wait a few seconds here. This has now been charged yet. And check it out here. This guy has the title, the image of himself, the education about himself, Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, training experience. Uh, this is the actual phone number, profile, size so scroll a little bit down, chapter one, logo design. So this is something interesting, right? This guy um, breaks down his portfolio as, as is, this was like a, like a book. Chapter one actually looks great. Logo designs, uh, for example, here have the element that was created for. I screw a little bit down once again, a little bit more. Chapter two, shell your media post. This guy made post for all of these guys. I screw a little bit down once again, print this sign. So I have like an idea of what I can do. What did this actually, what did this guy actually does? Poster design, graphic design. I mean, this guy does like a lot. So I'm gonna go back here, and I'm gonna look out for another one. I have like an idea of what I can do now by creating like the best uh, B and portfolio. So I'm gonna go back, and back in here, I'm gonna look out for a new, a new candidate to to get the actual inspiration. So for example, I look out for scroll up. Let's go port portfolio of graphic designer. There we go. And here we go. So let's go and focus now into this new guy. It says Rechiri Unbuilt Method. So you can filter this if you wanted to, like hitting resist swords. You can go for most viewed, most discussed, most recent. So I'm going to click into this one and check it out the elements that this guy has to offer to this one upload into the actual BNs. So for example, check it out the year that appears here. This is the name. This this is actually something creative. I loved it. So this guy is this is the actual name, graphic designer based where the branding, the team leader. Uh, what did this guy do? This guy has like a lot of elements that he can choose to check it out all the creative the e creativeness. This actually looks great to start using as an inspiration for yourself. So um, with that being said, now that I have found it like the best options for creating like the best profile, I can go here into the X mark, check it out that this one is a PDF file actually. 
focus into your share your work. I want to look out for a project and build a complete case of study. So this kind of content, this is the part when I wanted to get started with my actual portfolio. So here where it says start building your project, what I want to do is to choose an actual image. So here into image, I click this part and I import my actual document. Now how I'm going to be starting to do this, I can strongly suggest that there's actually a bunch of um, places as a graphic designer to design, of course, an actual project and a portfolio. But in my case, I'm going to be using Canva because Canva is totally for free um, and it's really great. This one has a lot of templates that I can choose and I can try to look out for some related um, templates that are a little bit like we were just uh, checking out before. So I'm going to look out here where it says search thousands of templates. I'm going to look for port, uh, portfolio, once again graphic, design. And here I have a lot of templates that I can use, once again, totally for free. So if I liked one of them, I can just edit those. In my case, I think that I want to look out for something related to what we were just looking for. For example, this actually looks great. So I click here and here we go. Here's an actual portfolio. I based on this image, I can start to design my actual own custom portfolio. So I'm going to hit now and to customize this template. And there we go. So um, this is the part where you want to actually just import all your elements. You want to import all your images, all your work inside here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you just like in a basic way how you can uh, manipulate this actual uh, template of Canva. For example, let's say that I wanted to edit or do something related like this. So if I duplicate my page, for example, and I select, for example, this title, I move this here and this graphic designer changes from this place into another one. I want to change the alignment and this image. I'm going to move this. Let's get, for example, the position or the orientation. Let's move it like this just to get a line, like an idea of what I'm going to be doing here. So there we go. I move this gear and I move this gear. And the last thing that I can suggest that you use here into Canva is the one that says the text to image. This text to image is going to be helping you to make almost any kind of stuff totally for free. So focus into apps, focus into text to image. And let's say, for example, a panda uh, wearing a astronaut suit. And the style is go for retro anime and go for portrait and create your image. This one is going to be helping you to create whatever you asked Canva. Uh, of course, totally for free. We're not paying up really for anything. And we have four different versions that we can use. If you want, if you like one of those, just choose whatever you want to, and then you can import that into your files. Or you can try to uh, recreate that again. In my case, I think I kind of like that. And I'm going to hit into edit my photo. And then later on, what I'm going to do is to uh, remove the background, all the purple stuff that appears here. And there we go. This is how we can get started with creating like the best um, portfolio and import this into Behance. So the latest thing you just need to do is to import your elements here into your actual Behance and you're actually good to get started. So uh, hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel guys. You now have the tools and the elements where you can get now get started today actually to build your custom Behance project and portfolio and much more. So thank you once again for watching the video guys. See you on the next video.